Hi guys, welcome to my tutorial series about learning how to use Adobe Flash. I'm going to be showing you tips and tricks I've learned over the years animating both professionally and as a hobbyist. Uh, I hope you will find these tricks helpful as they've helped me throughout the years. And yeah, let's get started. So let's say you've got an animation going. You've got about 60 frames of this arm moving up just like this Let's fix that joint a little bit so you've got an arm moving up like this but this is not enough we're animators this this is garbage let's uh let's put some anticipation in there let's put some overshoot so his arms moving up so for an anticipation, we're going to alt drag these keyframes and have it move slightly in the opposite direction it's going to go. This is called anticipation. And it's something that occurs in nature and it just makes your movements look more natural. So already you can see that's looking better. And all we did was copy the beginning keyframe and we moved it a little bit. That's all we did, and it already looks better. Uh, same for the opposite end. If you want to, what I usually do is I'll animate past the point I'm going to go to. So I'll even animate this curve even farther than I want it to end up at. So that's more curved than I want it to be. What I'll do is I'll move back a few frames to where I want the settle to happen. Highlight those keyframes, press F6 to create those keyframes, and drag it out past our overshoot. So now our hand goes past the point and then settles back into place where it should be. So now we've got an anticipation, an overshoot, and it's just a simple, quick way to get nice animation. This is super simple, super quick but let's make it even better. So as you may see, um, when you raise a hand, depending on what's going on, your hand will usually drag behind. It won't be leading the arm like it is here. So we'll go in the middle and we'll set keyframes here. And usually I'll put it into outline mode and just align these joints because Flash, uh, when it tweens, it moves in a linear fashion, meaning it'll move from this point to this point in just a straight arrow. But uh, things don't move that way in real life. They move on arcs. So instead of going straight like that, we want to have it actually move out a little bit so it arcs into place. And we also want to give our hand some drag. So um, the way to do this is to put a keyframe in the middle and just have it follow behind, have it trail behind. This works for hands, this works for ponytails, this works for feathers in a hat. Let's uh, speed that up actually. So that beginning part's a little fast. Just mess with the timing a little bit. So there, we've got a hand raising up. Nothing special. But once you add your easing to it, it'll look much better. And the way easing works is it picks which frame between these tweens to favor. So if we select these and go over to our prop property menu, You'll see our ease is at zero. If we set an ease out, that means it's easing out towards the next frame. So it'll start fast and then ease into that one. Or if we selected ease in with negative 100, it's easing in from this pose. So it starts off slow and then speeds up towards the end. 
So usually what flash animators will do it, to get an ease in and an ease out of one motion is they'll break it in half like I did here with the breakdown. And they'll select the first part, select an ease in, select the last part, and select an ease out. And it gives you a nice smooth motion. So see, it's not just a simple mathematical tween from one pose to the other. It actually looks like it has some life to it. Pretty cool. And uh, that's the way Flash users usually do it. They just And it works here because there's a breakdown pose with the hand dragging as it is. But let's say you want to do the same thing here. Well, you could put keyframes there, put an ease in on one side, and then an ease out on the other. And that's all well and good, but there's a better way to do it. Um, so if I wanted to get rid of these keyframes, uh, the delete key doesn't work. That just gets rid of it. Um, saying uh, insert blank keyframe doesn't work. Remove tween doesn't work. How do you get rid of these rogue keyframes? Just select them and press Shift F6. And it'll rub out any rogue keyframes in between your tweens. So that's Shift F6, and it's super handy. So back to the easing. How do we get an ease in and an ease out without breaking the tween? Well, I'm glad you asked. If we go up to our tweening up here and we select this pencil, it'll give us this curve. And to get a nice ease in and ease out, we just drag these handles and we create an S. Just like that. So this just shows uh, the position over time. So there's a li very little change, very little change. Then towards the middle, we start getting more rapid change. And then as we get out, the change decreases and it slows out. So if we press OK and look at that, it starts off slow, speeds up, and then slows to a halt again. And it's pretty subtle. Let's extend that so you can really see what's going on. So it's slow, 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 fast, 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 slow, slow, slow. And you can adjust this and tweak this however you want. This is just for demonstration purposes. But yeah, that pencil is super handy. And you can also control C to copy this curve. Go into here where there is no easing. Select all those tweens, go into the pencil, press Ctrl V to paste that same curve. So now we've got easing in and easing out on all of our keyframes. And we've got ourselves a nice looking animation with not much work. Kind of the beauty of why I got into Flash in the first place. Because I'm a cheating asshole. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more tutorials, leave a comment in the comment section below and ask me some questions. I'd love to help you out. Uh, I love teaching people and I want to make more of these. So like, comment, share, and subscribe. And pass this video around to other animators you know that are interested in learning Adobe Flash. Thank you very much. Bye bye